Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Beaver, proceed with caution. What's up, gentlemen? On today's video, I'm bringing you 10 things I don't want to see anymore in the Call of Duty games. Things I don't want to see in future Call of Duty uh, games. And uh, being a sledgehammer, Treyarch, and also Infinity Ward, big fans of my channel. I know they watch my shit and they uh, get inspired by the things I do. Um, I know that they will listen to me. So if you have anything you would like to add... Uh, anything different from what I'm about to say please leave it in the comment section below so that we can uh, uh, discuss it so thing number one I don't want to see in Call of Duty anymore noob tubes grenade launchers I don't want to see those things in Call of Duty uh, not so long ago in Ghost you have a goddamn secondary weapon which I don't even know the name it's a, a grenade launcher uh, thingy and uh, it's just so freaking annoying please do not put any grenade launchers in the game remove the fucking attachment from the game we don't need it it's useless instead of the noob tube put the flamethrower put master keys put whatever you want uh, just don't fucking put the noob tube and there's no point nerfing the damn thing because then it will be useless so just just remove it completely from the game or instead of make it firing you know, uh, frag grenades that explode on impact, make it fire Samtax grenades. That will completely fix the problem and it will actually take more skill to get people killed with the Samtax grenades. Uh, thing number two, bad hit detection and lag. I don't want to see this anymore in, other, in any other Call of Duty. There's no excuse for it. It's like they're fucking tent Call of Duty. I mean, how many Call of Duties are there now? Like 10, 12? I don't even know. So, um, I mean, they just need to put their shit together and uh, I demand a Call of Duty without hit, without bad hit detection, without lag, just like Call of Duty Ghost. I don't know what they did with that game. I don't know how, what formula they used, how they managed to do it, but that game plays uh, very well and uh, there's little to no lag and bad hit detection. Thing number three, exosuits. You know, it was a good idea. They try to innovate people ask for a new thing they gave you a new thing but um it just doesn't work i mean uh, it just sucks i don't like it the heat detection is bad the exo jumps are cool but as I, the, but the heat detection is bad and when you have people exo jumping it becomes even worse so i mean it just and with the lag it's just terrible if it had ghost heat detection probably the game would be better but it has like a black ops 2 heat detection which is garbage thing number four Quick scoping. Um, I, you know, it's not that I want quick scoping to be banned from the game. I just feel that I, I mean, I don't want the sniper to be banned from the game. It's just that you you can use your scope very fast. Um, you can raise your sniper rifle up very fast. So there's need, you know, something needs to be done. Either make it uh, zoom in slower or make it uh, go up the sniper rifle. Make it go up very slowly so that they don't have time to quick scope. And uh, make it uh, make these guys have to use a perk which costs like four or five points in order to make the sniper rifle go up very fast. That way they will only use one perk and uh, that's it. Because I mean you can only choose like a you know a few perks anyways if they use uh, on the next call of duty is the ghosts create a class system which is the most perfect in my opinion thing number four annoying thing number five i mean annoying attachments get rid of thermal sites get rid of uh, grenade launches or fix them make it fire uh, make them fire samtax grenades get rid of of uh, target finders we don't need any of that shit it's just in the game to make the game annoying so that people can sit in corners or lay down you know what and uh, just be fucking annoying so we don't need those attachments as i said put manly attachments flamethrowers master keys you know knife throwers whatever just create something uh thing number six uh stupid fucking equipment female equipment like c4s emps bouncing baddies claymores shock dildos i mean you name it there's so many i don't even know uh ieds just create a goddamn equipment that is deadly but that has a counter like the the bouncing baddie like more or less like the ied sometimes you survive it sometimes you don't but it should be always like the bouncing baddie if you're distracted 
If you're not paying attention, you get killed. If you're paying attention, you can avoid death and you will get pretty much no damage. With the IED, you still get lots of damage and you're very weak. The enemy knows that you're coming around the corner or whatever, so they will put one bullet on you and kill you with a bouncing bat. It's different because you pretty much escape with a uh, full health and you're able to, fi to fight the enemy back. Thing number seven. A uh, scavenger needs to be fixed. I don't want to see scavenger refilling claymores and uh, C4s and IEDs and shit like that. But especially like, for example, in Black Ops 2, you can uh, refill uh, EMPs, C4s. And that is just very annoying because the enemies will be spamming that shit all game long. And that's why Black Ops 2, that's another reason of why Black Ops 2 is, uh, is a little bit annoying to play. Because people just spam EMPs all day long. If Scavenger didn't refill this shit, the game would have been much better. Thing number 8, bad killstreaks. I don't want to see fucking bad killstreaks anymore, there's no excuse for it, but for some reason they keep making bad killstreaks. They keep making ineffective killstreaks. For example, Ghost. Ghost has lots of fun killstreaks, but they're not effective. The maps don't help, uh, and uh, there's other situations w which, which do not help uh, uh, the kill streaks and uh, we need to uh, get some kill streaks like uh, for example in MW2 like in Black Ops 1 when uh, you know when you use these kill streaks you knew you were going to get lots of and lots of kills and when you use the kill streaks from ghosts and uh, advanced warfare and whatever you just you just I mean you have to fucking create strategies and shit on how to get lots of kills and that just you shouldn't have to do that for a 10 kill streak um, thing number nine, I do not want the 10 uh, pick system from Advanced Warfare from Black Ops 2 and I don't want to see the traditional three perk uh, thingy again. I want to see the one from Ghost and the reason why I don't want to see the pick 10 system again is because you can only choose two perks from each tier. Now you're always going to have to choose something to counter uh, something that the enemy does you're not going to use two perks you enjoy you're going to use one perk because you are forced to do it to for example counter explosives to counter uh, uavs or whatever so make it like on go so that you can choose uh, a shit ton of uh, perks and uh, from a different tier so as i said i don't want to see the pick 10 system anymore because you only get to choose two perks from each tier and most of the time you're going to have to counter at least one thing that the enemy does so you know i, I mean you're being forced to use something you do not want and finally i want to see amplify out of the fucking game just take the damn thing out of the game amplify uh i don't know the the name of the other sound whoring perks but that perk that really makes the uh, the footsteps loud that needs to go man it just needs to go because it's too overpowered too annoying and people think they're good when i mean you're not good you're not good take amplify out of the game give uh, ninja dead silence to everyone make it something built in the game and that way the game will be more enjoyable how annoying is it for you guys to play a free-for-all match and you're coming around the corner and you're not making any noise but because the guy is using amplify he knows that you're coming and uh, he will be ready for you three seconds before you appear how fucking annoying is that i just can't take it so these gentlemen are the 10 things i don't want to see in call of duty anymore in future call of duties and without these the games will be much enjoyable so uh make sure you leave your opinion in the comment section below i will see you next time i will see you next time gentlemen peace